And we're going to drop down into a lunge. Make sure that your knee does not go over your toes. It's a 90 degree angle. Step together, switch legs. So you want to stop in the middle just so that you can assure that you're getting safe form and come back. So we're going to try that again. Just think heel to toe movement. Heel drops down, we tap together, then we switch. Chest stays up, shoulders stay down the spine, and step together. These are really good to do pretty much anywhere, either at the home or in the gym. So you want to think about long spine, touch together. If you want to miss, skip the tap, you can do a lunge with a glute extension. This is a variation, and then bring your feet together. So as you're lunging, it's lunge, glute, and lunge. So this is a little bit more advanced move. You don't have to do that. You can start off with a beginner level just doing a lunge step or lunge glute. So you've got two different variations that you can try at home or in the gym. Great work for the quadriceps, the hamstrings, and the glute muscles. Things to remember, 90 degree angles. Knee, ankle, and hip in a straight line. Make sure that your knee does not exceed your toe line. Again, we're on the second and third toe. Shoulders are back, chest are lifted. Spring up. Again, we always want to exhale on your contraction, which is your lift. Inhale and exhale. Breathing is very important so that you get the right, really strong contractions in your muscles, especially engaging your core muscles. And that's how you do your walking lunges.